Hey everyone, Dub Squizzy here, and welcome to Pillars of Eternity. Okay, so I have played this game once, for a few minutes, one time. I got out of the starting area, took a few steps, and left. I don't know, it just didn't really grip me much, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. Uh, I've been meaning to play it for a long time, and I was looking for something else to record on here, so... I decided why not this. So I have the whole Definitive Edition, I believe I've got all of the different DLCs installed and stuff. Some of them should change the main game. I wouldn't know what changes and what doesn't. I had never played through the original game itself. I'm going into this mostly blind. Uh, okay. Suited for Infinity Engine veterans. I, I, I think I easily qualify as an Infinity Engine veteran at least. Okay, so as I understand it, it's a lot like 3rd edition D&D, I think. I'll probably play a pretty basic class, because as I recall, there's also like a party system. It's heavily inspired by Baldur's Gate, I believe, and so I should be pretty well grounded in most of it. I am also familiar with... <coughs> Five wagons oh. grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Alright. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Human. Whoa. Largest of the kith races, commonly found in or near oceans. Though not truly aquatic, they have an affinity for water. Many of their civilizations are based on naval dominance. Okay, so they're real strong. Dwarves look kind of derpy, I have to be honest. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, more constitution, less dexterity. It's a lot like D&D. So the kith races, are those... Is that the... Um, <coughs> is kith like the name given to the civilized peoples? Probably. Parts of the Direwood colonial nation found by the settlers from the Adir Empire. And then that thing. That looks like you'd play uh, play a good mage, probably. That they're probably more suited to your basic mage. That thing is a thief, most likely. Fighter of a type, good at everything, excellent at actual fighting. All right, we're just going to be extremely basic. As I normally am for first time playing things. Okay. Reduce below 50% endurance. Folk temporarily gain bonuses to accuracy and damage. Meadow, ocean, savannah. Probably meadow. But very simple. Okay, so we have a... Yeah, yeah, these are all the same classes I already know. But I don't know the specific mechanics of this game all that well, so I don't want to play anything too heavily focused on specific skill types. So that is a class I don't know. Same with this. I know Barbarian, which is basically just a fighter, but wilder. I know Monks, Priests, Rangers, Rogues, Wizards, and Druids. Though Druid, Rogue, and Wizard, and Priest, and probably Monk and Ranger. I, c I could make them work, right? If this is using any kind of D&D rules, I could play them probably just fine. I think we'll go with the Paladin, though. I like the idea of Paladins, the the righteous, holy knight who's, like, selfless and whatnot. I'm not really that, but uh, but I, I like that idea. Oh, boy. Conducting warfare mercilessly with extreme brutality in order to bring a swift end to conflict. Cruel and aggressive, benevolent. To no, I'm not going to do that. Passionate and clever, disfavored or cruel and stoic. Stoic and rational. I like the I the sound of that. Alright, so those are like the very kind kind of knights. 
They don't like cruel or aggressive. They don't like passionate. Now, let's go with this. Nobleman Emissary of Colgan. Elkta in the arm, provoking battle. Second attempt, negotiation. Okay, so honest and diplomatic. Yeah, that works. Huh. Okay, I have both of these. Yeah, so... Allied target, f plus 54.9. Plus seven every three levels after. I don't know. What does it mean? Fifty-three. Wait, like that's how many hit points it restores? Oh, over five seconds. Okay, that makes a little more sense. And then flames of devotion causing their equipped weapons to burst into flame, adding burn damage. Um, how long does that last? Just one attack. Okay, so that's like smite evil. I know. I know smite evil. Okay, so let's see here. Resolve, internal drive, determination, fearlessness, and emotional intensity. Concentration, deflection, and will. Okay, don't need a lot of intellect. Perception is nice, but I'm not focused on it. Dexterity, I'm going to be wearing heavy armor, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just going to... If we go by basic 3rd edition rules on, as far as, on what these points mean, this is probably good for a paladin. If, we, if you're going basic, which I am. Culture, alright. ADR is currently the largest, most powerful force in this part of the world. Extra resolve, dexterity. Resolve, I think, is probably what I want. And that looks that looks like it'd probably be the best for me, too. Because I already have 15, so one more would put it at 16. So yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, alright, an aristocrat. Colonist, drifter, dissident, hunter, labor, merchant, mercenary, clergyman, and slave. Clergymen, probably. I mean, paladins are religious. Normally, I'd be a fan of the mercenary type, but I don't seem to have that, really. Athletics and mechanics. Stealth and survival, and I'm not really a stealth kind of person. Don't want to be a troublemaker. But, you know, we can go with colonist. That works. Um, <clears throat> sorry about the throat clearing. I've been sick for a while, so I'm still kind of recovering. Does it auto-pick one that it thinks best suits you? Looks like it does. That's probably pretty... Yeah, it looks a lot like him. Let's see what we have first. I'm usually not a big customization kind of person. But I'll take a look here. That works. Um, okay, the colors, though. Do that. I think, though... That works out better, I think. Hey there. Whoa, that's loud. Now I am the leader of the group. Not a sound. Huh? Follow me. Let's go! Steady does it. Just say the word. I'll lead the way. You better run! Time to see and not be seen. <clears throat> the better part of valor. Hmm? Leading the way. Attack! Steady does it. Let's go with that. Bam. Okay. We're into the game. Like I, So I made it out of this area. I know we're going to get attacked and basically everyone's going to die. Caravan, okay, Caravan Master finished the dress in the group. Bushy red mustache, sack and jowls quivering as Everybody for emphasis. stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. 
Understood. At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rock, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Uh, so that was at his assistant, a lanky intense man named Sparfell, who carries an old sun-bleached bow. Sparfell nods, slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Where would I find this on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are the ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Characters, attributes, skills, race, culture, and sex may all open up options for you in dialogue. Not necessarily superior, but give you a wider variety. <coughs> Who did build the ruins? Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. It's not dangerous. if you hurry about your business, and not if the weather holds up. Concern in his tone, he does not elaborate. What kind this of weather? This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick. Born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself. Never care to. Sure, since we're not on a timetable, what they are the rocks? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The sole butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. I'll see about the berries, then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy armor-clad woman who spent the journey night sleeping in uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Okay. First of all, game. Um. Pause to loot multiple bodies with a single click. Okay, so that's like the, yeah, the group loot stuff. Uh, tooltip delay, scroll speed. Let's just see the difference that has. Um, always save. Yes. Okay, that feels more natural. Uh, okay, we can zoom. So, okay, that's attack order. Let's see here. What is that? Party AI. I don't like party AI in these games. I like being in complete control myself. Okay, so tab switches. Ring... Gon's Pledge. What is what is that? Grant ability to shield the wearer from the myriad perils that plague the world of Eora. Aspect of the god Eothis. Gon represents the harvest of old age, symbolized here by many. Um, not sure what that does for me. I'll wear it, though. Yeah. What's this? Giant miniature space piglet. 
This tiny, it's like ti tiny titanic pig as an otherworldly appearance seems to be at odds with its endearing behavior. Follows you dutifully, requires nothing in return, save companionship. Uh, okay. I can actually carry a companion around? Weird. Oh, whoopsie. What was that? Hold up. Oh, that's enchantment. You can just enchant stuff, and you can craft things. Interesting. I probably can't craft much. Um, sword. Just a regular sword. What, is it long sword, or? Probably. And then she has a torch. Okay. Um, the first state of the world of Yori. You may want to watch these windows to become familiar. Party always consists of your character up to five. Right, right, right. Caravan's kept outside the glad fight ruins. Demon's been assigned Kaliska to help you. She's a fighter. Click on their selection circle. Move selected characters. Click anywhere else. Multiple party members selected. Action bars hidden. Okay, so yeah. Um, how do you... Here we are. Where's the... None of these are the classic. Right. Oh, what was that? Okay, so there's my yeah. piglet, who doesn't seem to be under my control. Alright. Um. I can't... Is quick saving a thing? That's the autosave. Um, let me... Controls. Okay. Scouting's a thing. Interesting. Game. Camp. Uh, half speed, double speed. No, you could speed up or down the game. Weird. Pause. Quick save. F5. What the heck? Hold up, hold up. Let me, let me see if Q is already a thing. Edit spells is G. I don't know what that means. E is to take all. Okay, um... Quick save, it's Q. Quick load, you know, we'll leave that one. Just so I don't accidentally do that. Um, okay, I think most of the rest of this is probably good. Off screen pointers, colorblind mode, big head, don't like big heads, don't do that. Hide selection circles, that's if you don't like those, I guess. And then everything else is pretty even. What's this? Auto-pause. Don't auto-pause me. I don't... I mean, I understand why they do it. Again, it's something I'm not a big fan of. Graphical display of the range of area of effect spells. I'll see if I like it or not. I'm pretty familiar with Baldur's Gate. I do have to be honest. Not a fan of how limited my... Oh, good. Okay, that's that right there mm. is the the staggered formation. It's just how I play. I like though that you can customize the whole thing yourself. Ah, locked. Required lock picks three. Oh, wow. Sure, we're stealing now. Uh, neutral or friendly, you can interact with them by clicking on their selection circles. Right. Most of these people are just called caravanners. They have some guards. Um, Hoden is over here. Sure. Anyone need supplies? See so a man wearing simple, but mostly neat clothes, transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in this. Well, there's a whole scene of wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. Scratches one cheek with knuckles, covered with uneven stubble. I say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling. Sure. Let's see what you got. Lots of basic things. Rod. Magical implements can be distinguished from wands and scepters by the heads on each end. Focus release more soul energy than wands or scepters. Oh, interesting. You can actually properly fight with them and it uses magic stuff by the look of it. And you don't instantly heal. It slowly heals you. Or healing stuff does at least. Um, I don't know what DR is. Damage reduction. One primary means of mitigating damage, which is damage reduction. How do you not get hit? <laughs> I'm not I'm not totally sure. This seems worse than what I've got. And then it has recovery speed. My amount of time a character spends between actions. Longer actions result in proportionally longer recovery. Oh, interesting. Subtract it directly from all incoming damage. Intact initially does 20. 
uh, target with 70R would be reduced to 13. Okay, so I have, what is it on mine? An 8. So I reduce all incoming damage by 8. That's pretty good, if I'm being honest. Um, sure. Where's my money at? So we deal in copper. Not sure what the two little campfire thingies were. Yeah. And I have this woman with me. Okay, just making sure. Tall green pillars appear as if they sprouted from the ground. Visibility is clearly a thing. Okay, so, I've played past this point. Scouting. Select everyone. Cancel. Inventory. There's the map. Okay. Stronghold. I don't have one of those. My character. My journal. I have not done anything on the White March. That's part of the DLC. Plug some spring berries. Okay, so. I have played past this point in the game before. Orland's Cradle. Cool, I got an ingredient in my stash. Although I didn't go this way, as I remember. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Although it doesn't look like there's a whole lot I missed. I found a dead guy over here. Exploration. Uh, open the area map to see what parts you've already been to. There we go. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Yeah, all right. Do those actually take up any room? It doesn't look like they do. No, you just got this stash of things that is free space. Maybe. We shouldn't stray too far. We aren't. Calm down, woman. Let's check by those outcrop. Oh. I use a possible real-time system. Because you will often manage more than one character at a time. It's got to get a pause the game, issue orders, resume real-time to see the orders play out. Options menu always contains many choices for auto-pausing. Okay. To charge the wolf. When engaged in melee, immediately stop moving. If they move again, that will provoke a disengagement attack. Right. Okay, well, when they start to lose endurance and health, their portrait will begin to fill. Right. Um, begin to heal or to fill them with a red overlay. A health bar on the left of their portrait will slowly start to decrease. The character will be knocked out. Potions and spells can be... Where did that say? It can be used to restore endurance to keep characters in the fight. Health can only be restored by resting. I'm not sure what that means. Holy cow, we got 50... Oh, those aren't health. That's endurance. Penetrating enemies. Damage reduction when the attack hits. The R will wipe out all but a small percentage. Feel your characters complain about it when it happens. Take heed. Damage type that's being blocked. Search to weapon or spell. Okay, we win. Loot time. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the oh, and then the endurance goes back up. Oh, holy cow! I have a lot of health. Okay, so when you get whacked, your endurance just goes down, just by default, and that's what a lot of my stuff is focused on bringing back up. So where are my abilities at? What is this? Gon's pledge. Moderate amount of endurance to the wearer each time it's used. Okay. Flames of devotion. Second wind, which can only be used in combat. No AI script. Hmm. How do I use lay on hands that I have? Do I have a separate spell place? That's pause. Double speed, half speed. Okay. Cool, cool. Right. I'm not sure how I use that. Nice, got my berries. Dima said you're some kind of colonist before coming here. If that's the case, you'll fit right in. Whole country's a bunch of colonists. You'll like frontier life. Or what? 
Oh, you like Frontier Life or what? Um, they're to pacify the land and the people who are native to it. How's it you happen to come out here? Turns out the land pacified us. <laughs> uh, some of the natives don't didn't take so kindly, burnt down our settlements. No offense, which probably had that coming. They say the gods that each man gets his due. Don't know if I believe that, but they do seem to have gotten the better of you. A long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. What Radarix offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. Here to settle like the rest a lot. Hard offer to pass up. Won't find many offers like it in these parts. Got some big plans in store. Gonna settle down, start a new life. Who knows, Richard plays well enough. Might end up neighbors. Anyway, I'm wasting my time here. Oh, Dan will give me an earful. Um, stream's just down that way. Let's oh. go with your water. Okay, but here's the thing. I know this is not gonna go well because I've played through this part of the game. I don't remember having a space pig, but um, I do remember everyone freaking dying except for me. And her. And that merchant dude. Once I go back, uh, everyone's gonna die, things are gonna progress, we're gonna lose out here, and more importantly, I got far enough into, like, a small set of ruins to where she died. And I'm gonna try to make the same choices... And then progress from there. That's my plan. Oh dear. Travelers maybe are looters or bandits. Bad sign. Any way you can figure it. Corpses cold to touch or ripe smell wafts from it. Putrid blood, putrid waves. A dark crusted blood stain besmirches its simple linen clothing. That's an interesting combat system. They don't go by rounds. They just go by the clothes that you wear, which makes things like rogues way more dangerous. If you wear light armor, you can, like, jump out of the shadows and tear your enemy to pieces before you can even respond. I don't know if I got out this far Welcome last time. Crouch the riverbank, dip your water skin to the cool water while Kaliska waits nearby, keep watch as you rise, notice her look sharply towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerges Sparful, one of the guides, fairly discernible into the moonlight. No longer carries his bow. There's a straightness in his gates. Strangeness to his gait. His stride wobbly as he moves towards Sparful? you. Sparful? Are you alright? Sparful's toe catches on a rock, he collapses forward in a heap, the feathered shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. <clears throat> Things are gonna get worse before they get better. Ambush! You don't say. I'm charging the one with the bow. Huh? So where's their health? Is the is the red their health? Looks like it is. So I'm not sure what the 51 thing means that was on him. Thanks for the bow, sucker. Right. I'm sure I'll pick up more about the combat system as time goes on. So far, it seems pretty straightforward. Uh, before we get back to camp, because I know that that's, a, you know, everyone dies, I'm just gonna look around. Footprints around the campfire are indistinct. May have been here for days or longer. Oh, it sends the nearest person you need? by the look of it. Give me that. Let's take a look at this stuff. Um, damage reduction, plus one damage reduction for 300 seconds. Oh, okay. Don't think those are items you can use. Pelts are probably just worth money or crafting. Um, yeah, they're valued. Okay, so I can make some money off of those. We have some basic armor. Might use a longbow at some point. You never yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Things have gone poorly here. Strange illness. Right. I still need to deal with that. Oh, boy. Kill them all! Ooh! What did he just do to me? That doesn't seem fair. Ah, 
Ah, oh, man, these guys keep on just thrashing me. Kill the archer. Oh, I see my health. Oh, what was that? Okay, so the red's just endurance, which once it runs out, you collapse. Take it all. A limited number of uses. Ability can be used a number of times per encounter. We'll have all of its uses restored when combat ends. Abilities can be used a number of times per rest will only be restored when you rest. Okay, that makes sense. But still, how do I use my my own abilities? Right, because it said I should have a, like lay on hands, right? But I don't see it anywhere. What you need? Okay, so she can knock people down too because she's a huh? fighter. Am I missing something here? Hold on, let me go down to the controls. Pan camera, pan up. Select move, attack, select AI, toggle scouting. Uh, let's see here. Edit spells is G. Previous abilities, delete. Keypad multiply. What does that even mean? Hold on, let me just click on... Let's... Oh, those abilities. Right. Alright, well, that's not particularly helpful, is it? All around you lie the massacred remains of other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy. Kaliska puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stand above the fallen, treading on limbs and blacks backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as Hoden, last your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Runes not been slid by our hands, Menavir Glanfath. Sure. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. Not one rank in a disposition reputation. These people these reputations will represent how people perceive you or personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputations will be favored by some people and bring reputation benign reputations often bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad. Well, they are inherently good or bad. It means beneficial or harmful. But if your main character is a priest or paladin, you must be careful not to misalign their disposition with what's favored by their deity and order respectively. For the main character, only their dispositions will modify an effects of holy radiance for priests and faith and conviction for paladins. All right. So I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust them. They mean to kill us all. Uh, okay, don't resolve it like that. Uh, only a fool attacks a weak enemy while a stronger one yet lives. Should you know about the string of the animal teeth around your neck? I'm guessing your worshippers of Galloway and if Galloway told you to stop, prote or to stop protecting the ruins, would you? I could also put down my weapons. I guess I'm not really doing much other than just dropping him, right? I can always pick him back up. He shoves Hoden towards you. As he does so, the man rakes his blade against Hayden's torso. Hayden screams, stumbles forward, wide gash in his clothing. Beginning to bloom crimson, the man sets his feet to engage you his axe raised high. Alright, well, now we're out of combat, so weapons back. Can't be changed in combat. Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's not ideal. Uh, all right, womp that guy. I'm gonna see if I can do that. Yikes! He's getting torn to pieces. Okay, bad one's down. Our dude's probably gonna get knocked down, but he's the only one that can deal damage right now. You run for it. We'll deal with this guy. 
What is that? Dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see. Get him. How can he... He's still following. Okay, she can't knock them down anymore. I can still do this. Uh-oh, he can see me again. He's down. They're having trouble getting through my armor, by the looks of it. Let's go. And uh, I think we're just beating the life out of them slowly but surely. Can you still equip that torch? No. Okay, so now I know that that's what happens. Um, get the tutorial message out of there. Clan Fathan leader, your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companion is now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it's rending you apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel amidst the howling maelstrom, slashed across chest and bowel, Odima's body stirs, and with great effort he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open, he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Okay, good, so the dude is... slowed. Why is that guy moving so slow? They got pretty cool graphical effects on here, and the 60 FPS don't hurt not don't hurt neither. Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands on the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With the last burst of energy before your arm gives out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hoden trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by an early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rock, one of the fallen attackers who had been feigning death lunges for Hoden topples him onto the rocky ground. Not met. Allow Hayden to break free on his own. Wow. Resting free of the attacker's grip, Hayden lands a blow that sends the assailant reeling, and he makes a mad dash to the ledge upon which you stand. Suddenly, as he reaches for the rock face, his body jerks back and is rigid as though it were a bow being strung. His shrieks of pain grow panicked, demand and evolve restraint. Like someone tethered to a stake and set a flame, a slender wisp of spectral light emerges from his back, rising out of him like smoke before separating itself and disappearing into the ether. All at once, the screams stop and Hayden is dead. Ah, I must have had more decks last time. There's a deep resonance to the wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections and settling balances. You dart beneath the old archway. Tire portal falls beneath its own weight. That sounds right. Yeah, because he survived the last time I got in. We should be dead. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Don't worry, my space pig made it. Okay, so that's a medium shield. Whoopsie. I'm gonna keep doing that. Medium shield around. 12 deflection, minus 4 accuracy. Okay, so same thing, just looks kinda different. You seem to do okay dual wielding these. Damage, 8 to 13 crush damage. 11 to 15 slash damage. Take that. That's 13 to 19. There's also, it looks like an accuracy thing. Accuracy versus deflection. Accuracy is part of almost every attack. Influences how likely the attack is to affect the target. Primarily by a character's class and level, but also influenced by perception, talents, and other active effects, such as spells or items. Right. Deflection is the defense used to resist direct melee. Uh, it's defined by the character's class level and resolve, but may also be influenced by shields, certain weapons, talents, and other effects from spells. But not armor. Okay, so now we're in, uh, we're in the ruins. And down a man. Sure. Lower level of the ruins have been blocked by fallen rubble. That doesn't look good at all. Uh, we're hurt. A little bit. 
Place has been open to the wilds for a couple thousand years. Might be a lot of vermin taking shelter here. Four-legged if we're lucky. Two if not. You don't seem too upset about all this. Kaliska looks you in the eye, volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. Maybe I've seen worse. Seen worse, kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done. That's Storm true. Storm has to die sometime. Yeah, who attacked? Uh, Gland Fothens, those would be the hut dwellers that Demo warned about, look to be fighting fangs of Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They'd go ruin of ruin looking for fights with colonists. For Odea, Deem, I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. So we trespassed. I don't believe that, or Dima would never allow, but as much as the fangs are hotheads, they don't attack without being provoked. Either way, they saw something, got the wrong idea, or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. I could talk about the rest, but it's a waste of time. Because she's obviously not going to care about the rest of the caravan. Someone else has been here. And there's nothing we else we move. can do anyway. Let's check the place no. out. Oh, what's this? Discovered some camping supplies you can use these to rest in the wilderness or dungeons, fully restoring your character's abilities and health. Easy difficulty allows you to carry more camping supplies, hard restricts them severely. If you run out of camping supplies, try to find an inn. Okay. So what's this? Hammer and chisel. Useful for chipping away at hard services, particularly ones that display structural weakness. Okay, but it's not like a quick item or anything. A mace. Bunch of crush damage. You never know when you might need something that can crush people. This one does have uh, minus accuracy to it. Where's my accuracy? It's 21. Hers is 32 on both. Oh, that's pretty good. With that, it's only four, and I get much better deflection this way. My defenses are significantly better than hers. Where do I see my deflection, though? I'm not sure. She has two attacks. The first one does normal damage, second one does less. And she's more accurate with both. That doesn't seem very fair. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, well, we're probably gonna have to fight some more people before we're done down here, I would say. I'm still sick. Can I make something to unsicken myself? Okay, food, no. Potions, any potions, any at all. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to make any scrolls. Hold on, do I have... I mean, I know I have those berries. Right? Yeah, f spring berries. Not too obscure to the taste. I don't know. I don't like being sick. Maybe I should sleep it off. Whoop. Trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear, knobby elbows, and then and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh. You recognize it as a Zarib. Watch as you cautiously breathe in ragged sighs. Raise your arms and stand still. Creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. It's okay, I won't hurt you. Zarp recoils fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. Cocks its head approaches you, soft clicking sound. Well, what if I don't watch from a distance? Yeah. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a lot of health. bow and more lock picks. 13 to 19 pierce damage. Plus 5 accuracy. That sounds pretty nice. I 
I do like having swords, but uh, it looks to be the same damage, just with more stuff. Yeah, same speed, by the look of it. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Oh boy. You hear that? Hey, a gem. Tattered journal. And another torch. Where's that journal? Also, what's what what is this stash? What is this thing? Well that doesn't help. I don't know what what's the what is this? What's the point of it? There's my full water skin. Small folios torn in several places. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, got my hands on a genuine Anglican artifact. Fellow who had it said he was pretty nothing. It was a pretty nothing. As far as he's concerned, he's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about the gem leading to a hidden treasure, it's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. Had to kill Aunt Lise in the morning, then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Huh. Huh? Oh, wait a second. Is the stash just an easy way to get to all of the things that I own? No, it can't be. Yeah, it's not. What is it? What does that mean? I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I should look that up. That Those doesn't... tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. That doesn't look good at all. Hmm. Let's just close that back up for the time being. Rough, ragged tunnels seem more my speed. Ooh. He's a scolder. I don't know what a scolder is, but he's one of them. Oh, I can I can use this more. Cool. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Could be. Yeah. Crack runs along the floor from the to, from floor to ceiling. Yeah, we can hammer and chisel it. Set to work. Cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts. Thrust is more taxing than you'd expected. Continue chiseling. After several long moments, you begin to see that on the other side. It comes loose, and I lost the hammer and chisel. Mm. This is going to make our lives easier or worse? Why does it keep pulling this up if it's not telling me anything? Dangerous place full of lurking enemies, carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily, search for hidden objects. Keeping quiet. Oh. Used for stealth and for finding hidden objects. While scouting your heritage selection circles start to fill when they're starting to be detected. Okay. So, in other words, we're not sleepy. Sleepy. Sneaky. Okay. Strategy time. What's Womp that guy. I don't know what these things are. We'll tear this one to pieces. Blast him. Ooh. Yeah, that, that got the job done. Although they tore me up pretty bad. Uh, that's just endurance. Damage reduction. Might as well. And that's endurance as well. Mm -hmm. Stay quiet. Which, while helpful. Oh, interesting. Alt does that. Okay. I keep hearing this shimmering noise. Not sure what it means. Did this let me get around the strange glowy trap thingy? Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm path. Whoop. Spiderlings. Well, oh, that doesn't sound good at all. What's? Th why do I have a thing up there? It's two. Immune to web. I don't have any web anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's go. All right, they're pretty weak. Okay. Well, now my curiosity wants to know what's on the other side. But I also really don't feel like crossing that thing. I don't know what it is, and I'm not super keen on finding out. It did say the only way to restore health was to rest, right? So, 
me having health loss like this isn't all that absurd. I am the one with the armor and the front running and stuff and more endurance. And some more health. Not by a lot, but I do have more. So it makes sense that I'm the one in the front taking the hits. Just like the tiles. Indeed. Mm. Fire god like. Three part symbol described on the pillar. Unlit brazier sits at its base. Could be lit. Oh, but I would need this stuff. Near almost be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows a procession of Inguithins from all the kith races. Um, Am Amamua. No. Amua. Amawa. Elf, Orland, Dwarf, and Human. They walk among pillars to the ones that span this chamber, each one top of the flame. So this is a puzzle, but I don't even have a way to light mm. the stupid things. So I can't solve it anyway. Is that my pig who's sparkling? What does he do? Why do I have a companion slot? Ah, great. Immune to base... Okay, they attack us from a distance. Let's Oh, we tear him up. Nice. They were uh. really going after her. A pole axe. So far, that slime I, come from? so far, I'm not suffering from any kind of uh, weight problems. Viscous, oily, this muck clings to anything it touches. Vicious, slick of something dark and tall, like down this wall. Shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use water skin to clear off the ooze. Ah. Sure, let's do it. Rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of man's face. Sunburst surrounding it, chipped away in places. Oh, place the gem in the eye socket. Chair begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor, finally a large section of the wall gives way. Uh. Awesome. Let's go. More of them. I got my power back. Power blast him. That did nothing. Try again. Ooh, that one hurt. Okay, more ooze. Minor Cloak of Protection. Nice, nice. An Amethyst. An Audra. I think an Audra's a gem, but I don't know. Give me that. I'm gonna wear it. 17 to 24. And it's Crush or Slash Damage. Either one. Okay, that's nice. Uh, it's slow. And this one has an average speed. Fast is that. Well, hey, if we have to crush something, might as well crush it right. Yeah, it's two handed, so it's yeah. whatever. Okay, and it's easy to switch. Cool. Yeah. So we got some extra loot. I can't solve that puzzle, and I don't know the answer to this one. Actually, I think the answer is probably pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh this thing. That should have appeared down here. Okay. Um, Ama, Elf, Orland, Dwarf, and Human. Okay, so clearly, it wants me to step on one, but not the others. Yeah. We're just gonna... Just quick load out of there. The solution is probably closely yeah. tied to the, the burning braziers over here, but if you're not a fire god, like, good luck with it, so... And I'm not. Let's just continue on our path. I got a cloak now. Little protective gear. The combat seems very fast paced, but it also feels, uh oh, like I'm missing something. That's a big ol' spider. Be 
beat that one to death while it's stuck on the ground. Can we knock him down? Yeah. How much damage did I just do? I have bestiary progress being made. 17 pierce damage. Sure. Huh? Bats as large as chickens are strung up in the web. I'll over up here. And a huh? bloodstone. And a way out. But there's more. Hmm. A helmet. Helmets come in many forms. Different cultures tend to wear different styles outside. And, uh, and it comes down to personal preference. So they don't actually do anything. Yeah. I'll wear it anyway, but that's kind of disappointing. Okay, some more yeah. gems. But yeah, I laughed earlier without even talking about it. For mm. anyone that doesn't understand why, the reason that giant miniature space piglet is funny is because... The character Mean Skin yeah. Baldur's Gate, all throughout the game, has this hamster he carries around that he calls a miniature giant space hamster, and which I think it is. Like, I don't think he's just nuts. Alright, let's get outside. Hmm, what's up with that? I don't know exactly how long I've been going, or how much longer I plan on going, but I'll find a good cutoff point eventually. Four figures stand for another worldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled Audra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it with might be contemplation. Um, closest to the machine stands out among them. Thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath the metallic mask. Faded robes are embroidered with runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like wings of a level creature. And see, this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part. You have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. They creating the soul wind then? For an instant the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still, then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision, you're knocked to the ground, your head snaps back as you lay in a pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. Open your eyes to a different place. Another time, you stand in a circular room, grand and domed, wall lined with Audra, trimmed with copper, styles ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end of a great pillar of Audra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Circling it is an apparatus much like the one you've just seen. The thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions. Questions that must be answered, or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You're walking towards him now at a pace that's hurried while trying not to appear so. Something you want to ask him, one question above all. The question spins madly. Is she dead? Waking to find your malaise is broken and be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntarily paranoid tick. This sickness may be dangerous. Figures that the machines stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Become fatigued. Alright. 
Um, it's most commonly received as an injury when a character is knocked out. Some scripted interactions will also result in fatigue. Fatigue goes through multiple stages. Initially inflicted minor penalties growing in severity over time. Resting is the easiest way to remove it, though some consumables can do it too. Find Kaliska lying prostrate a short distance away, blood pooled beneath her head, no breath escapes her lips. You're alone and far from help. Gilded Vale may be your best hope receiving treatment before things get worse. Give me your stuff. Earned enough experience to advance a level. So I've got this stash thing, and I don't know what it does, but it concerns me greatly. I'm definitely going to have to look it up, because I can't seem to find an answer in the game. But it seems to just be an extra inventory. Okay, so I can camp. Um, these are my records. How do I level up? Where do I do that at? Oh, here. Alright. Stealth, athletics, lore, mechanics, and survival. Traps and locks can be a problem. I'm not going to be a trap disarming paladin. Choose from a variety of long-term bonuses each time they camp. The first six to grant the following bonuses, so I should definitely focus on survival. Athletics is good. Lore, I think, is good. Okay, but some of them take more. Looks like I can put one for free every level. Okay. Yeah, I can get all those even. Sure, why not take a mechanics? Okay... Talents. Augments the power of the Paladin slays the devotion, increasing its damage. 25% damage as burn. Untroubled faith. Faith and conviction. Passive. Paladin's belief become more than just a sum of his interactions, negating rep reputations that negatively influence faith and conviction. I'm not sure what faith and convention conviction are. Plus 4 deflection. Plus 8 on all defenses except deflection. That's pretty neat. Okay, so these are the... Whoa, I have a lot of things. Focus Knight. Plus six accuracy with some things. Some other things. Dagger, Repair, Mace, Scepter, Ruffian. Who's good with a sword? Great Sword, Pike, Warhammer, Arbalist. Okay, I don't know if I want a Great Sword. Oh, a Knight. I think I should just take a Knight. If I can only take one, I want to be a better fighter. Which would, I think, definitely mean I should replace this spear. Accuracy is at a 10. That's really bad. Minus 20 from a major fatigue. Whoa. Uh-oh. Back up. Run away. Okay. Uh, I'm good camping, but uh, let's do it inside. Camping allows your party members to restore lost health. Receive a camping bonus. Camping will consume a camping supply. Heal multiplier. Plus 20% healing received. Extra movement speed. More damage reduction. I don't have any much any healing. Normally I would take that, but... Dreams? Dreams. Okay, we slept for 8 hours. And I think I'm all good now. Hopefully. Okay, now my accuracy is up at 30. Much better. So, all alone now. Companion's gone. Now even her body is gone. Whatever it was I was seeing over here is gone. Probably for the best. Just me and my pig. I got vessel flesh. Okay. Okay. Am I seeing into the past? Oh. What am I looking at here? Twin Elms. Okay, so I'm over here. Veiled Wood and then the Gilded Veil. Okay, so Gilded Veil is where I'm trying to go. And it looks like leaving is all there really is to do, probably. Massive structures formed of stone, odd and copper, covered in strange glyphs. Around it vibrates with an unusual energy. Can I break it? 
no. Alright, well, I harvested the flesh of the strange dead people around it. Which I assume is a normal thing to do. Um, okay, so yes, that map travel-y thingy, that's, that is in fact a travel thing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this one here then. Uh, I've at least gotten a, a little bit of better combat ability. I still have, I think, a bit to learn about the game. Now my character is all alone, which isn't, I, I don't think, ideal. I need to look up the stash thing so I can understand how that relates to the rest here. Um, other than that, other than that, though, I think it's just going to be a matter of learning. I don't know what's up with the lay on hands thingy. I don't know what that means or where it is. Like, where do I even, does it even show me where I keep my abilities? So that's, yeah, that's our records. Okay, abilities. Faith and conviction. Directly affected by the degree to which he or she acts in accordance with the beliefs of his or her order. Where do I see my order? Okay, I do not have lay on hands. Did I have to choose one or the other and I chose flames of devotion? 50% damage is burn and an extra 20 accuracy with it, which is always cool. 7 accuracy, 15 damage, and that's for the folk thing. Moderate amount of endurance to the wearer each time it is used. Right, and I know that. So where can... Can I see something else? I guess I already know. Just like a, a gallant knight is basically, I think, going to be in line with what I chose. So I should be good if I just try to stick to that and don't be a coward or a fool. So that's the plan. I don't really know much else about this, so I don't have a whole lot else to say. Um, but it looks like we're going to Valewood next. Uh, for whatever that's it with, yeah. worth. Yeah, alright. Uh, well, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.